So this unfortunate crime happened yesterday. As I'm researching something else, I come across this and I read about it and it, it's awful. It's, it's terrible. There were various text messages that actually took place before this unfortunate event happened. Brittany Searles would, would text, quote, you have made my life miserable since we've been together. You put me through so much, man. Leave me alone, end quote. He responds, bro, I can fix everything. Are you serious, Brittany? She responds, quote, you don't constantly cheat on somebody you love and want to marry and keep hurting them, end quote. He responds, bro, I haven't cheated. What the fuck? She responds, quote, please leave me alone. Please, man, bye, end quote. He responds, bro, I told you. I will give you my passwords. She responds, bye, Jay. And he responds, please don't do me like this. This happened in Houston, Texas. Jeremy, excuse me, Jeremiah Jones, 22 years old, had went to his ex-girlfriend's house. He claimed he was there to pick up a television. When he got inside the apartment, he ripped it off the wall and he proceeded to ransack her apartment. Brittany Searles was home watching a movie with her three other children. She has three daughters. Sorrows was um, on the telephone or texting on the telephone and um, he asked for her phone and she refused to give it to him. So he snatched it from her and looked at it and she was texting a male. He was upset by that. They had been broken up for two months. He was upset by the fact that she was texting another man. He pulled out his gun and he would shoot her nine-year-old daughter in the head twice. He then shot at Sorrell's hitting her in her shoulder. I don't know if he just wanted to wound her or he was trying to kill her, but he, he did, he did shoot at her. The other two daughters that were in the room are ages seven and one. They witnessed it. They were not physically assaulted, but I'm pretty sure they were mentally assaulted by, by what they saw from their mother's ex-boyfriend. They witnessed their sister getting shot, their big sister getting shot. Kylie Sorrell, the nine-year-old girl, she was transported to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Jones would flee the apartment, and while on the manhunt, that's when he would contact Fox News in Houston, and he told a news reporter there that he didn't kill Kylie or shoot her mother. Why he felt he needed to do that, I have no idea. I don't know if he has ties to this specific person he got in touch with, but he wanted to get that out there. And at the same time, I believe she was posting on her Facebook page or her social media page that, you know, he was wanted for, for what he did. Jones's brother, they didn't have a name for his brother, but he was saying that his brother didn't do it. He was actually at a gas station and there was surveillance of him being at a gas station. I don't know none of these people involved in this story, but I don't think that Brittany Sorrells I don't think she's lying about getting shot. I think she knows who her ex-boyfriend is. And more than that, I think she knows who shot her daughter. I don't think she would blame it on anybody but the person that shot her daughter. There was some additional text messages, but those were the main two that I saw. Or should I say the main one? And this is a horrible story because we have a beautiful little nine-year-old girl that won't even get to see 10 years old and this is happening constantly daily every day this is happening and it's terrible it's awful my condolence to the Sorrell family and rest in peace Kylie terrible terrible story 
So thank goodness he was arrested by Houston police and SWAT. Jones was arrested last night on a capital murder charges. I'm pretty sure he got attempted murder as well. He was actually out on bond when he committed this heinous crime. Sorrells had filed a protection order on him last week. I don't understand if he had a key or if he let himself in. I don't, I don't know. I wish the police had been called earlier. I mean, it's tragic. I mean, we all know that, you know, this could have got, gotten a lot worse. She even says that the reason why, you know, she believes that he shot her daughter was because, you know, she was texting somebody. I mean, just terrible. A very jealous, insecure, evil man. And I, I just have to add on, and this is not directed at this woman. You know, she's going through enough. This is everything that I've been reading, like, the past 10, 20 years. It's never going to stop. I mean, granted, we don't know the people who we fall in love with. I mean, sometimes there are rumors and there's hints, and sometimes we bypass them, and maybe we shouldn't. But, you know, a lot of people don't know what they're getting themselves into. But I, I had a, a conversation with my girlfriend, and I was telling her, and this is about cheaters, even though in this story here, they both accused themselves of cheating. Um, but again, I'm not reflecting what I'm saying on this story. But um, a girlfriend and I, again, were talking, and I said, you know, cheaters, you know, they will take their revenge out in the worst ways. You might think, okay, if I cheat, oh, they're just going to go and cheat on me, maybe with my best friend, you know, maybe my brother, maybe my sister, you know, something like that. I said, no, they'll take it out on your children these days. And she's like, oh, oh, that's terrible. That's true. Yeah, I know. I know it's terrible. But that's what some people do. They feel that you've hurt them the worst, so they want to hurt you the worst, and they do it through your children. We all know that. We all know that. And I keep saying, you know, some people just need to really stop messing with people's hearts. And people are just not all there. You know, we see it all the time. And I hate the fact that they go out the kids. Um, in this story here, you know, the mother even said he had the gun to my head. Why didn't he just shoot me? Because he wanted her to hurt. And unfortunately, she will be hurting forever. She lost her oldest baby girl. It's terrible. My condolence. And rest in peace, Kylie, and justice for Kylie.